Well, welcome again. Um, my name is Sadek Shahadu, currently serving as the West African Language Coordinator at Art and Feminism, and also a steering committee member for the Wikimedia Language Diversity Hub. Uh, I am also serving as the executive director for the Daban Wikimedia and Suicide Group, and you are highly welcome to this um, informal session on um, art and feminism community, um, uh, our 10th anniversary celebration um, support fund for all art and feminism organizing. So before I begin, um, I would like us to introduce ourselves and we'll just begin. It's going to be informal, no slides. And if you have any question, if you have anything bothering you, as you have seen the call for applications, and this is the time for you to ask and get all the necessary information that you need in order to prepare yourself very well for the application. So um, I would kindly ask people to unmute and then feel free to share. You can also put it in the chat if you don't want to speak. So um, anyone can just nominate themselves and then say, hi, my name is this twin from here and I am from this community. Hello. Hello. I'm Dr. Ngozi. Dr. Ngozi, yeah. good to see you. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm Dr. Ngozi Osadebe from the University of Nigeria in Soka. Wonderful. And thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Ngozi. Anyone else? Hello. Hi. Yes, this is uh, Fusenu Mugisu Soyene with username Seya Mugi from the Dagbani Wikimedia Research Group. Wonderful. Nice to see you here, Fuseni. Anyone else? And I see more Hello, people. Good evening. Yes, we can hear you. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I'm Chiwan Dubis Akubu from Oka. Anambra State, Nigeria. Thank you. Great. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you, Chinumbu. Fuseni, Dian Shitobu. Yes, thank you. Um, my name is uh, Mohamed Kamal Fuseni. I'm from Kamara, Ghana, and I'm part of the Development Media Group and the Government Media Community. Wonderful. Nice to see you here, Fuseni. I guess we are sitting at the same place. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Okay, I see uh, Fatal from Dalong. Good to see you here. Anyone else? If not, I will go ahead. Hi, I'm, I'm Eugene Masiku uh, from Open Foundation West Africa, Ghana, and I'm happy to be here. Great. Nice to meet you, uh, Eugene. And hello, Carol from Kenya. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, everyone. So, uh, hi, Sadi. Okay. Hi, Carol. And I, uh, unfortunately, time does not even work for me. It's already late in Kenya. Yes, I can, I can imagine. <laughs> it's very late in Kenya. And I think yeah. it's going to be 7 p.m. early evening in Nigeria. It's also. 9 p.m. here, so I'll just follow. In okay. case uh, I'm not able to continue, I'll just log off, then I can catch up with you later. Definitely, definitely. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, let's begin. Share my screen. Hello everyone, my name is Cornelius. I didn't know you were introducing yourself. Cornelius oh. from Ghana. Okay, wonderful. Nice to meet you, Cornelius. Great to have you here. Okay, so please feel free to um, introduce yourself if you just join us. Okay, okay so um, I would like to talk a little bit about art and feminism. And then uh, I'll introduce you to the community support fund. So um, Art and Feminism as an organization uh, builds a community of activists that is committed to closing the information gap um, on the internet uh, related to gender, feminism, art. And we do that starting with Wikipedia. And Art and Feminism this year is 10 years. And we, uh, we are one of the 
affiliates of the Wikimedia Foundation. So Art and Feminism aside being an organization registered in the United States, is also one of the affiliates um, of the Wikimedia Foundation. And we have um, several programs like the community support um, programs, and we have art and feminism campaigns. We also have um, projects that are related to arts and also research. And what else can I say about art and feminism? Yeah, so this year, <clears throat> as always, Art and Feminism is organizing the 2023 um, Art and Feminism campaigns, which means um, between now to the year, um, to the end of December, anyone from anywhere can organize Art and Feminism campaign in their location. Most of the times we do that in the libraries, uh, academic institutions, archive centers, gallery centers, and all of that. And, most people know um, much about the program in March, but I can tell you that the program is all year round. Anybody at all can organize at any point in time during the year. And I will not be talking much about that. Now, um, Art and Feminism, because we are celebrating our 10th anniversary, we want to introduce participants to our campaigns and projects and all the things that we've done and um, the we, we also want to invite all participants who have been involved in organizing art and feminism campaigns to celebrate with us. And uh, that is the reason why we have launched this, um, you know, community fund to support you um, to, you know, organize events to celebrate with us irrespective of your geographical location. So it is open to everyone globally. And you don't, the only requirement we need is you've been like uh, an ex-organizer of art and feminism campaigns. And I would like to also um, mention that even though most of you will be here and may not uh, be like past organizers, uh, just because we have also launched the um, rapid uh, micro grant program for uh, art and feminism campaigns 2023, you can as well, you know, host an event and then that will probably make you um, one of the um, eligible applicants and you'll be able to apply for the funding. And what else do you need to know? So I'll, I'll take you one after the other, just trying to admit more people. Um, yes. So now let's check out what the requirements are. So first of all, I don't know if all of us have access to the link. This is the... I'm going to share the link. So you can apply directly from this link. And then when you open the link, you will see some few questions about your past experience and what exactly you want to do as part of the um, campaign's um, celebration. And then we also want to learn more about the you know, proposal, like what exactly you want to bring to the community and also want to understand uh, challenges that you may face uh, as an organizer. I'm still admitting more people. So um, let's go. Uh, what are the things that you need to know? Over the past 10 years, as I said, uh, our community has worked on closing the information gap related to gender and art worldwide. And so far, we have witnessed a lot of traditional editor tones and, you know, collective making and panel discussions and other interesting approaches that people use to close the information, information gap on the internet uh, using Wikipedia. And so for the community participation, um, the celebration fund, um, what we require is there are just some few things that you need to know before you jump into your application. So the first thing we need to know whether you are, you as an individual. So one thing you must know is that you can organize this celebration as an individual and also um, as a group. And you must be like, um, an, like an art and feminism campaign organizer. Either you have organized an event uh, in the name of art and feminism as an individual or as a group. So if you are applying, for example, you are applying as a group, you should make sure that one of your, uh, the other applicants, all the applicants, or at least one person have experience organizing art and feminism campaigns. And then um, what we also want to 
consider it. So point number two, we want to know whether um, you have an unfulfilled um, requirement from past art and feminism events. Uh, have you, do you have a good standing with art and feminism? Um, have you defaulted in uh, our programs? Like, did you not fulfill your obligation as an organizer? We want to make sure um, all um, those who will be eligible for this grant have fulfilled all the requirements that um, required by the uh, organization. So if, for example, you've organized art and family but never submitted your report, that means we you, 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 will, you will definitely not be qualified for this um, grant. So that is the second um, point. And then the third one, um, we also want to um, know exactly what you want to do. And we are looking at three things. So you can request for these funds to, pro to, to, to produce a promotional video, either in your language or English. It can also be an animated video or audio story about what art and feminism means to your community. So if you belong to a particular community, let's say the Yoruba community in Nigeria, Igbo community in Nigeria, um, Chi community in Ghana, Dagbane Wikimedia Committee in Ghana. Um, we want to know, you can make it like, a, like an animated video or maybe just a normal video or an audio. And hello. Yes. So we want you to share your story about art and feminism and what it means to you as, as an individual and to your community. So that is one you can do. And then the second one, you can also design um, a poster celebrating um, the 10th anniversary of art and feminism. So we want to see that creative um, ideas coming from different communities. So that's number two. And then the third one, you should be able to create a zine or an illustration of um, our community care statement. So let me share uh, what our community care statement is. If you, you can create um, a zine of the community, statement in any language. You can do that in any language. And then um, the third point, sorry, I need to admit more people. Okay, so the fourth point we are considering is that we want to know whether you are capable of delivering um, this package. So I will not. I will mention the amount we are given. So it's between three hundred to thousand five hundred dollars, and we want to make sure that the individual or the group has the capacity to deliver the project within um, their community and also within the time frame. And the next thing we also like to consider is uh, we want to see whether the applicant has a clear understanding of the project's immediate deliverables. So as we said, we are looking at three things. You producing a video, animated video, or audio telling a story about art and feminism and what it means to your community. We also want to see people create like a um, poster celebrating our 10th anniversary campaign. And also uh, you can also create um, an illustration or a zine, um, you know, highlighting our community care statement. And most people also want to do translations for um, some of the resources that we have on our website. So you can reach out to me or any of my um, colleagues to, to, to learn more about what you can translate if you are working on translations. And then um, we also want to know what uh, tools or resources you are asking for. So if you are organizing, for instance, um, an online campaign, um, you can request for support to, you know, um, get access to online um, video conferencing tool. And if you are organizing um, an in-person event, it means you can request for, um, to, to rent like equipment to produce your video. So all of them are um, things that we would like to uh, support for you to be able to organize a successful celebration with art and feminism. And then, um, so we also want to know 
if your budget aligns with uh, or your budget, your budget is reasonable enough for the project. So if, for example, you are requesting for an amount that is beyond what we can offer, um, as I said, we have a minimum and a maximum between $300 to $1,500. So um, we want to make sure you fall within this um, category so that we'll be able to support you. And then what else? I would also want to share that um, you can find other resources on our platform about what um, Taiwan, the community in Taiwan have done in the past. So if you are wondering what kind of video you can produce, you can take a quick look at this video made by the community in Taiwan. Yeah. So um, at this point, I would like to pause and pick um, some of your questions and you know comments about um, Art and Feminism um, Celebration Fund. If you have any comment, please feel free to unmute and then share. Um, Okay, Dr. Ngozi, please go on. Okay, thank you, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Yes, I filled my form in January. Is the form still open? Yes, yes, the application is still open until um, I think February ending, yeah. Let me confirm the exact date, but the form is still open for applications. Okay, and uh, I don't know when the reviews will start because my program is supposed to hold on the 5th and 6th of February. February, okay. So uh, we will do the review um, on rolling basis. So uh, we'll start reviewing it as soon as possible now that we are in January. Uh, by next week, we'll start reviewing it. So we'll let you know within this period if your application is successful or not. And yeah, as I said, the review will be on ruling, but as and when they come in, we'll be reviewing them one after the other. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I'd like to ask another thing. Okay. You said that uh, even people that have not organized on their own before, Hmm. Can uh, you uh, apply for the community care fund and use it to organize so as to qualify to apply? Hmm. Yes. Because there are people that are co organizing with me, but because they are not the main organizers, they cannot apply. And there are people I trained in some other places. I'm based at the University of Nigeria and Soka. So, mm. but uh, I have a group of people I trained in Lagos mm. in art and feminism. They have not organized before. Okay. Okay. I think I understand your question. Uh, so um, what we need um, as organizers is that, I don't know if you are still talking, it seems you are frozen on me. So like um, if you are a group or a community, we want to make sure that we are supporting um, art and feminism campaign organizers. So throughout the, the year, as I said, art and feminism campaigns, the micro funding has also been open. So those who are interested in organizing um, art and feminism campaigns can as well apply, but this particular session is not to, uh, I'm not dedicating this particular session to talk about the, you know, the uh, campaign microfunding. And as you may also be aware, you can apply for rapid grant to organize um, art and feminism campaigns if the micro grant that is up to um, 300 is too low for you. You can request for more from the Wikimedia Foundation's um, rapid grant. And as um, I said, you know, so as a group, if they have, they don't have um, one person who have organized, I think as an organizer yourself, you can request for the funding on behalf of the group 
because the form will require that you share a link to your past event dashboard or any link that we can um, make reference to. So I think you can apply and then organize with them. Um, yeah, I think that should be the best way uh, since they, they haven't organized before. Yeah, any more questions? I can also share the, um, take you through the form and Hello, I, I'm sorry, my internet went off and oh. I got lost, yeah. Okay, all right, sorry about that. Okay. So the application, we opened it in December, it was early December, um, no, late December. Any more questions? And you ask about the deadline. Um, the first deadline is um, February 15th. So by February 15th, make sure you submit your application by February 15th. So um, another important date you should note is that by February 20, once the application deadline closes on 15th February, by 28th February, you should receive an um, an email or a notification from us about um, your application, whether you are successful or not. So you wanted to know the deadline and also the time that you get um, notified by us. So by 15th is the deadline and then 28th February is the date that will notify applicants in the first round. Okay, in that case, Mm. Uh, my project of 5th and 6th February will have a problem. Otherwise, I'm to push it up. But already I have submitted the application. Oh, yes, that's fine. So uh, I think you can always change the date. It's not uh, static. You can always like um, update your event dates, just like you do for the art and feminism events. So if you plan and you, uh, you applied to host um, on a particular date and <clears throat> you no longer want to do it or something has changed, you can just move it to any date that you want. So it's all year round, as I said, you can always, you know, change the date. Okay. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm dominating the discussion, <laughs> but it's <laughs> because I have many That's questions. Fine. So can I assess my form? Is it possible to assess my form? Um, the form I submitted for the 10th by day. Um, no. Uh, what exactly would you want to see change on your form? Well, change the date because from what you are saying now, so the change date. the date because uh -huh, yeah. from what so, you are. So we, we, will, we will review it and if you are successful, you can change the event date. So we don't really um, consider the date that you do it. We, as it has been submitted, we'll just re review it. We don't you know, care how, okay. like when you want to organize, it's totally up to you. So we we'll just accept it and then let you know that you have been accepted or rejected. Okay. And then you can oh, choose okay. which I date. thought before that the first, yeah. I thought the first round was ending on the 15th of January. No, it's February. Okay. Yeah. Any more questions? Any more questions? Okay, so this is a copy of the application form and what we require from applicants is your, your name, can everyone see my screen? Yes. Okay, great. So your name, your email, the organization, your location, and then 
proof of past event, as I said, you, you should be able to provide a dashboard link or any relevant link that is connected to your past event. And then your proposal details. We ask that you br briefly describe um, your proposal, like what format is it? What are the main objectives and how you plan to accomplish it? What audience you intend and how the like your session aligns with art and feminism works and um, our policies. And then you should also, as I said, the time is not uh, fixed. You can give us an anticipated time. So it, it is always subjected to changes. You can anticipate the time, include the appropriate time, um, the start date, and when uh, the event will end. You can always change it, as I said. And then um, what challenges do you anticipate? What are they and how do you plan to overcome them? So if you are, for instance, you are producing a video, what could be the challenge you, you foresee and how do you intend to navigate through that challenges? And one more important thing, um, you can, it's not compulsory, but um, if you agree, you, you should be able to upload the final resource if you are producing, for instance, um, like a, a video resource admitted or audio, um, video uh, audio presentation of your program you can upload it to wikimedia commons and uh, using the wikimedia commons cc by se license and then um do you need assistance if you need assistance to upload your video on commons you can also reach out to us and then we'll be able to help you and will you be working with a community and affiliate in implementing this proposal. As I said, you can apply as an individual and also um, as a community or affiliate group. All you need is um, the, sub, the one submitting the applicant or the principal applicant must have organized at a feminism event in the past. And will you be working with other partners outside of the media community? So if you are working with uh, a media organization or institution, uh, you can indicate that as well. So what are the examples of past works? You can upload a file, you can upload also a link, and then you will be able to uh, review them. And what is the amount you are requesting um, from the Global Salvation Fund? You can indicate, as I said, the minimum is 300 and up to 1,500. So you can indicate how much you are requesting for, and you should make sure it aligns with the budget, uh, the program that you are going to organize. If it's a video production, make sure everything that you indicated connects with the amount that you are requesting for. Uh, yeah. So the guidelines, there are no strict guidelines for our budget, uh, we are also following the Wikimedia um, grantees um, guidelines. So if you look at this link, you can open it. Let me share that with you also. Can you use the link to learn more? If you have not organized any rapid grant before, you can just follow the link to learn more. And finally, we ask that you should highlight the impact of your work. What would be the impact of your work? If it's a video you are producing, what would that mean to your community? How would that help your community to understand the um, art and feminism um, mission and also our programs and how it connects to the Wiki movement? And the other one, and the other question we ask is, do you agree to complete a brief post um, project reflection? This is like a report. So after the uh, project, we ask that you send a brief um, summary of um, your project reflection to us. And what is the mission of your organization or group? So you tell us if you are, as, if you are applying as a group or organization, let us know what your mission is and what you stand for. 
And then, so you know, this one is applicable to individual organizations. So if you are not an organization, you can just like say that you are an individual organizing it. Can your organization um, accept online bank transfer? So we all know there are some organizations um, like communities or countries that Wikimedia cannot send funds to because they are based in US and they have different laws and, and connection to these countries. So if you are in any of the countries, um, you may not be eligible for that, but I believe most of the, almost all the countries I know are all eligible, like in Africa, are all eligible to apply or receive funding from the Wikimedia Foundation. Yeah, so if there's, other ways you can receive funding from us. We are happy to, to, to learn more. Any more question? So I also want to re-emphasize that this particular celebration fund is totally different from the art and feminism um, a micro grant program that we um, we currently do in connection with this one. So they are very different programs and it's just the requirement. One of the requirement is for you to have um, organized um, art and feminism event before. So as I said, you can take advantage of the current programming and uh, be able to organize an event so that you can qualify to submit your application in due time. So this is a celebration grant, totally different from um, the art and feminism campaigns. Um, I have a question. Okay. Please How go. soon does the community, does the community, community care fund come out? Let us say that somebody applied for it within this week. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, uh, how many days does the result take to come up? Yes. So um, unfortunately, we don't have a specific um, timeline for the micro grants. <clears throat> we review that also in uh, on rolling basis, which means when you apply, um, several people, other people apply at that same time, and then we review them as and when they come. So we may not be able to tell you exactly when we will approve or reject your application. But um, what I know is that some, most okay. people, even if because they don't I, get, yeah. yeah. So if you apply through the, the first thing you need to do is to create an account on our website and then you, you, you'll be able to add your event. And if your event is accepted, you see it on the art and feminism um, website, right? So this can be instant. That one can be on the website and if the date is closer, you can go ahead and organize the event because it is published on uh, like Art and Feminism web website, which means your funding will come later. So that will be easier for you and you can easily get a link to your event and then use it to apply for the community support, um, the celebration fund. I don't know if this makes sense. Um, if you have- no, Let me understand. Okay. Let me understand it. Mm -hmm. If the person applies for the funding mm -hmm. and the event appears in the art and feminism uh, program and events dashboard, it's not mm -hmm. a dashboard. I know that place. We yeah. are um, publicity for events. Yes. <laughs> if appear, yeah. it appears there, it means that the person's application is successful. Your application to host art and feminism um, campaign is successful, but not the grant. You know, some people apply for mm. like to host an event and they don't need any grants. They don't need funding. Um, yes. Yeah. So once it is published on our website, it means we have accepted to promote your event. And those that are mm. not accepted will not be published on the website. But once it is published, Yes, you can go ahead and organize your event, but you have to wait for the confirmation of the um, funding request. So you can okay. get, uh, you may get the funding or not, but the event, you can still organize it. Okay, 
Okay. Yeah. So getting Thank it published, you. just to be clear, on our website doesn't mean that you get the funding, but your program is accepted. The funding will come, will be reviewed, and then you get uh, updates later. Okay. Yeah. Any more questions? Okay, so if there are no more questions, I would like to end this session. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Okay, let me be hopeful that my application we go through. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I am sending my email if you have any question, or you can also reach out to me by WhatsApp. Telegram, anywhere. Okay. Thank you so much for all the explanations. Mm, thank you. We are very grateful. Yeah. Thank right. you so much. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Good night. It's Good night. night in Nigeria. Good night. Yes. Yeah. It's night here. I'll see. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye.